This is my American knitting or English knitting, which I do much more quickly. Again, you're going to insert the needle through that first loop front to back. I gather my yarn through my index or my ring finger, excuse me, and then over my index finger. And I'm going to show you that this knitting can be just as quick then quick just as quick as continental, excuse me. And as long as you get the right tension with this index finger, really the only parts of your hand that need to leave your working needle over here is your is your um, fingers and not your thumb. So I can wrap, pull it through, and I cast these stitches on a little tighter than I normally would. Through, wrap and then back through. So as you get the tension figured out, your hand doesn't really need to leave the needle at all. And I just let go of the tail to make it a little bit easier. And you can see my hands aren't really leaving the needle. They float past the yarn over, which is the throwing part of the yarn, and then bring it back through. And then when you get to the end, of course, you turn your work, assuming that you're working all the way through the knit or that you're not doing a different type of pattern. Insert that needle back through again. This time I'm going to make my yarn a little bit looser. And as you'll see, I can keep my thumb right on my working needle so I never have to move it. So my needle is basically never out of my hands. It's not going to be floating around down here somewhere as I pick my yarn up and put it over, as some people do. It's always controlled by my index finger with my thumb guiding the work in my right hand. And then we're down to our last couple of stitches. There's that last stitch. And I have two rows besides my cast on row complete. And that's American Knitting. Thank you for watching.